So day three of depletion and I've run, run out of raspberries, so I compensated just with more strawberries, still got my blueberries, and still got two little beggars. I would like a little bit of the blueberry because I do like the squishiness. Mm hmm What about you? Strawberries? No. Give me a fucking biscuit. Sit. Good girls. We've run out of my vlog. So we've got Skier instead. What's with these names? Sounds like you're doing a bad record scratching. Gvog, Skier, Gvog, Skier, Gvog, 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 Skier, Gvog, Gvog, Skier. It's blueberry. Macros. I'm going to use 150. 13 and a half protein, 8 carbs, and half a gram of fat. But I'm hungry. And remember I told you about volumizing? Remember I showed you this. So this is where we're going to talk about volumizing. So this is that comp pot that I showed you. Now Lainey makes me this. It's reduced down rhubarb and blackberries, frozen blackberries. Rhubarb per 100 grams carbohydrate is 0 0.8. That's right, 0 0.8. Then with the added few bit of blackberries in there just to give it some little bit of tartness, it works out like per 100 grams is like probably a gram and a half of carbohydrate. I'm going to put 50 grams on top of my yogurt and my fruit just to bulk it out a bit, give it a bit more kicker flavor. It doesn't even really need counting. It's literally going to be like a gram of carbohydrate. It's so low, so low. Volumizing your dieting is super important because when you get hungry, you get cranky. When you get cranky, you get tetchy with other people. You just, your mind doesn't function the same because you're in like a negative zone. So volumizing is really important. That's where kind of that macro decision making comes into play. So say you wanted Frosties instead of having your usual porridge. You're going to get like this much Frosties for this much porridge. You're going to be hungry quicker. So you're going to get grumpier quicker. So just be smart. Play things along. If you want something naughty, try and have it later in the day when you're about to go to bed or something like that. Because as a rule, the fun stuff doesn't sustain you. Anyway, that's it. Breakfast. Brew. What are you saying, stinkers? Let's say you want to go outside in the sun. Sun shining. Holy shit, girls. Sun shining. Ready? Three, two, one. Freedom! No? Are you institutionalized? Second meal of the day is a Bobster special. And it is a bacon sandwich made healthy. What's in it? Little lovey. Bacon medallions. Lean cut. Yeah. Oh, and one of those um, Jill serves pitters, which are low carb. Only four then, grams so. of only four grams of carbohydrate per pitter. And then some protein cheese. Protein cheese by it's Eat Lean protein cheese. We can get protein cheeses everywhere now, even supermarkets. You can get the Eat Lean in the supermarket, but you get it cheaper from Muscle Food. Muscle Food link in the description, and that'll be meal number. Oh, and that skier yogurt is actually really nice, very, very flavoursome. And a lot of protein yogurts and high protein yogurts are basically just quark with bugger all flavouring in them. Or quark, quark, however you say it. Quark. Well, I'm Irish, so I say quark. Quark, 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 Yogurt's recommended. And Lainey is uh, literally a day away from a sneaky little show that she's running into. I haven't told anybody about for no apparent reason. I just felt that I just, everyone had supported me in the last one. And I thought that maybe I'd just do this one a bit on the sly because it just takes a little bit of pressure off. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Right, well, let's have our, well, you're having breakfast, have them a second meal. Do you want to do the transition? Punch the camera. No, better, better than that. And there it is, the breakfast from the Bobster. These lean bacon medallions, are these from Muscle Food? Yeah. Yep. Underneath we have the protein cheese which I showed you on the same pitta wrap that I used to make the chicken and cheese kind of wrappy dappy thing. And as always we've got the oat milk mocha. Half a sachet of the options hot chocolate which is like the low fat, low sugar, everything hot chocolate. A nice shot of proper coffee from the coffee corner. And whipped and topped with oat milk. And oat milk is something you can just buy from the supermarket. Unlike the person who messaged me asking how to make oat milk and then got mad when I told them it's from a supermarket, mate. Or man, did I say man? From the supermarket, man. And apparently it was a girl who messaged me and she took offence to me saying man. I call everybody man. I call Lainey dude. Yeah, I don't particularly like it. <laughs> you might not like it, but I do it. You must have been having a bad day. Hope you're feeling better today, man. <laughs> Rox, what do you do when people mistake you for a boy? Well, first of all, what I like to do is go straight for the nuts. And if like me, you need a little bit of something on your sarnies. There's this new Heinz tomato ketchup, which is now no added salt and no added sugar. Per serving of 15 grams, 
you literally get 0.8 of a carbohydrate. So we now have guilt-free ketchup. And we actually don't think it tastes any different. So, meal two down, enjoying it the non-bro way. So taking Sarah Jane out on a ride, which was the name we all gave her last year, and my snack for the ride is gonna be one of these grenade carb killer bars. Now something you need to know about things like this, anything like this or anything that's kind of polyol filled, on the back it'll say something like say 15 carbs, but then if you look at it it'll say of which polyols, it'll say say 12. Now a lot of people, when you log it on MyFitnessPal, they don't take out, the, they don't log it as net carbs, which is the actual carbs that you end up eating. Because polyols can't be digested, they're pre-burnt alcohol sugars, and they go through your system. Um, eat too many of them, get the poops. So like on the back of this one it says carbohydrates 15.4, of which sugars 2, gotta count those, of which polyols 12 and a half. Now that doesn't mean that you take off 12 and a half carbs, you have to account for a quarter of the polyols. Calorie wise, but three quarters of it go through your system. Eat too many of them, get the apple splatters. Ain't pretty. So make sure when you're logging things like this on my fitness file, if it logs it as 15.4 carbs, that is incorrect. What this is actually going to total out as is two grams of sugar. Gotta count those, so that's two grams of carb. We'll call it just 12 grams instead of 12 and a half. So four, four carbs from the polyols, two from the sugars, that's six altogether, not the 15 it lists on here. If you're feeling hungry and you've also eaten cereal fibers, cereal fiber, fiber from cereal can't be digested it passes through you so you don't need to count the fiber from cereals so there you go a couple of sneaky little hacks that you need to be aware of especially when you're in these low carb phases right so quickly now i'm going to get outside enjoy this crazy golden thing in the sky that we don't hit see here too often have some fun on this beautiful little lady So in from the ride and now pre-workout meal. The bolster is lovingly prepared. Look how tan and brown little bibbly ibbly obster is. This is maybe because you have a show tomorrow as you told nobody about. Yes, my <laughs> secret show. What I'm gonna go for is I tend to lump a lot of my carbs and things around my workout. Because I want the carbs during the workout. One to fuel the pump, one to fuel my body, and two, it's gonna give me energy and it gives me that psychological boost of I've eaten this, now we can work out. So, the trick that you should find is easier through the day is to have your fats earlier on and save your carbs for around your workout. Pre, post, get the bulky carbs and then, and for the rest of the day, bulk out your meals with more fats. That tends to be how I do it anyway, but obviously you can tinker and have a play with what you want. But alongside this, we're also having a cheeky little I'm having a bit of booze before a workout. That should help bring out some of the vascularity. And two, because Lainey has to have a little bit of alcohol the night before the show. A little bit of a trick -a doodle to get you a little bit more vascular, a little bit tighter. Cheers, my dears. And I'll see you guys in the gym. Ooh, 
So there we go. Gym session done. It was nice and warm today. Thank you. Yes. It's from the machine, is it? Yeah. I'm gonna have to find out how to log that. But today's workout session was fueled by pre-workout. So the other day, I was in here and I trained, but it was just when I was fully overloaded with all the crap and the pizza and everything like that. So check out my Instagram story clip from then, where I look like a gorilla. Yep, and back to me. Uh, today we had the PSI by EHP and the RPM by EHP because I felt like I needed the stimulants, plus I wanted to see a bit of the pump, but not too much because it's deadlift day. So remember I said that about pre-workouts, if you're doing the heavy compounds, avoid something that creates like a, a big arginine pump or anything like that, because if you pump out your lower back or you pump out your quads, your mobility is going to be reduced and that's going to affect your exercises, especially if you've got imbalances and things like that. Think about that, you know, sacrifice a bit of pump for more mobility, it makes sense. Today it was five by five, I actually did six sets, but I don't count one of them because I only did four reps, so I'm not counting it. And then accessories, we did a lap pull down, bent over rows, five sets of each, aiming for that eight to 12 rep range, squeezing, focusing on contraction, negatives plus positives. And that's it, so now I'm gonna figure out how to log a Rejo coffee. So I'll see you back at home. To the loop. So back home with the Bobster, and she has prepped us yet another little bit of bubbly. So some simple carbs for after my workout, Log this, it works out as about 16 grams of carbohydrate. So easy peasy, cheesy deasy. And then final meal of the day, which we'll get to next. So the benefit of going out on your bike for five hours during the day and only taking one grenade bar, one protein bar with you to eat means my macros are pretty substantially behind what they should be by this time of night. So carbohydrates at 103, Fats, 22. Protein, 133. Remember, my targets today are 210 protein, 55 fat, and 150 carbs. And remember what we discussed before, that 103 is a false 103. Remember that grenade bar logged in at around about 15 carbs, when in reality, it's only six. So I actually have 90 carbs in my system, meaning I have 60 grams of carbohydrates left to play with. I did take some snacks with me to the gym to eat, but I didn't feel like I needed it. And this is the thing. If you can fill your time doing other things whenever you're dieting and take your mind off the food, keep yourself busy, you'd be shocked that actually the amount of food you've got left over by the end of the day. So now I'm going to have a couple of fun things. Lazy man meal number one. So to save me having to cook up some chicken and rice and do all that things, I'm gonna do the lazy man thing and eat a ready meal, but not one of the nasty ones you find in the supermarket. So this is a frozen one delivered semi-fresh by Muscle Food, which you then freeze. So they don't last forever in a day, but they last a decent amount of time. So the use by date on this one isn't 2019. It is actually two weeks time that's gonna go off. So these are as fresh as a ready meal is kinda of gonna be that you can keep frozen, throw them in the microwave, seven minutes and you are done. Remember in mind, I've got I've got fats to play with galore and a fair amount of carbs. I've got to get 60 grams of carbon. So per pot, fat, 8.8. .8. Carbs, 32. And protein, 40. Kaboosh. And seven minutes later, we are good to go. Mmm. That's hotter than African thought. Whew. The great thing about things like this is you tap this little barcode scanner up in the top right corner. Brings up a little barcode screen. Inception. Lexception. <laughs> Find a little barcode. Scan it. Boom. And there we go. Just check that the macros are all correct. Always check because there's some nonsense in there. And then simply add. Beep. Simple as that. And everything that you add in this, it remembers. So you build up a library. You build up a database of your own. And it's just simple. Click the little recent tab as you search the food. Boom, it brings them up, re-add. I've also added that coffee in that I had, and I've used worst case scenario. So if I can't find something, what I do is I'll find, I think what it is in my head. So that coffee, I'm gonna assume that it was, it was, it was just a simple black coffee with milk in it, but I'm gonna assume the milk was the worst type of milk. I'm gonna assume it's coffee, mate. And um, so I found that, I've added, it added a gram of fat and five grams of carb for that coffee. And that's what you do. And you do the same when you go out to eat. If you do macros for long enough, you'll get really good at guesstimating portion sizes of things. And then all you do is you find the meal that you're eating, you find the worst case scenario of it, and you log that. Because I'd rather undershoot than overshoot, especially in a dieting phase. Those added in where carbs are at 
135, but they're not, because remember we've got to take 10 off for that grenade bar. So we're at 125 carbs, 30 fat, and 176 protein. So a shake with some peanut butter in it is definitely incoming. Plus, I said I would eat something bad every day to show you that it can be done even while doing an extreme depletion. So I'll decide what it is and then show you. Till then. Nope, it's still too hot. So my naughty thing for today is gonna to be four of these lint chocolate orange balls. They're called golden balls. It's good. Plus my shake, which was EHP Labs Isopet with 27.6. I was trying to get 27, 27.6 grams of just cheapo smooth peanut butter, all blended with a little bit of ice using Nutri Ninja. And that's it, my crew. That's a full day of eating for depletion in this seven day transformation phase. Hope it's giving you some little bit of ideas and giving you a little bit of insight into why things aren't as shitty as they may seem when you're dieting. You're supposed to be clever with your time, with your activities, and with your food choices. Being in deficit does suck, I'm not gonna lie, like it does kind of get hard when you sit down and you're hungry, but if you're active and you're doing things, it can be a little easier than you may think. One more day now of depletion to go, and then we begin the loading phase where I'm gonna bring in the little super secret tricks to show you how to peak the body for a specific couple of hours of a day, which will be useful for you guys going on stage, but also the loading phase you guys can use as you're going into holiday to kind of feed the body back in, but you won't need the kind of excessive way I'm gonna show you because if you do it the way I'm gonna do it, you peak for one day, but if you keep going over that, you'll spill over and then look kind of soft. So you may wanna just take what I do and tailor it to your own little need for a little bit of a load period. But other than that, I think we're done. Ninja Lex. I've got diet brain. There's something I'm supposed to tell you. Oh, that's it. I forgot one thing. <sighs> creatine. I'm using HP Micronized Creat 8. Micronized creatine, start adding this in. When you're doing this, it's gonna help fill out the muscle. It's gonna help keep you feeling a little bit more energetic. It's gonna help that recovery. But more importantly, it's gonna help fill you out, especially when you go into that loading phase. You do not need to load creatine. That was nonsense industry bollocks to make you buy more tubs. Five grams a day, doesn't matter when, as long as you're consistent in the time you take it. If you wanna be nitpicky, post-workout. But we'll go through supplements in full in the next video. For those of you that are confused, and I'll tell you exactly what you need to get, and only what you need to get to maximize your budget. Now, Ninja Lex out.